How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. So today I want to talk about some of the best VPNs that you can get for your Windows. Now, I'm talking about free VPNs and, well, regular VPNs. I'll talk about the free VPNs and, you know, how useful they can be to you and their restrictions. And of course, if you're not willing to necessarily put up with the restrictions of free VPNs, then you can go for a premium VPN, which I'll talk about later on. And I'll talk about the options that you can uh, potentially get. But of course, before we begin, if you guys are interested in any of the VPNs mentioned today, whether you're looking for special discounts to save you a little bit more money or full reviews, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them, you'll find everything you need in the description down below. OK, so getting started, I would recommend the number one free VPN to me personally, it's Proton VPN. And it's for one reason only. And that reason is, well, they don't collect your data and sell it to third party companies for marketing and advertising purposes, resulting in so many advertising emails and spam emails and whatnot. I don't have to deal with that. So that's, you know, a great positive and that's what a VPN is supposed to do. But most free VPNs end up really forgoing the privacy and anonymity of their users. And, you know, they just go for profit. Of course, it's a free service at the end of the day. Now, the restrictions that you'll have to put up with uh, Proton VPN is that you're only going to have access to three locations. And of course, with free VPNs, do not expect to be able to stream or torrent whatsoever. Now, as far as torrenting, I do have a solution for you later on. But this is going to be the restriction with Proton VPN. But the cool thing about Proton VPN is that it's got unlimited bandwidth. So you can use it as much as you'd like without having to worry about, you know, running out of bandwidth at a restricted uh, speed, of course. Now, with Tunnel Bear, this is going to be, I would say, maybe the next best option, but another amazing option actually would be Atlas VPN. I don't have Atlas VPN, but it's a great option if you're looking for a VPN that allows for torrenting. It's free. You've got like five or six locations available at your disposal again for free. You still won't be able to stream and you have a bandwidth limitation of 10 gigabytes a month. Now, Tunnel Bear has three gigabytes a month. That's the limit here. But the cool thing about Tunnel Bear is you're going to get access to all of these servers for free. So it's really cool if you want to get an IP address from any of these countries for free. You can definitely use Tunnel Bear. But again, you won't be able to stream. You won't be able to torrent and you won't be able to use it for more than three gigabytes a month. Now, if you don't necessarily want to put up with the restrictions of free VPNs and you'd like to be able to comfortably stream and get full access to all kinds of countries and servers and the full speeds and again, stream and torrent freely, have the maximum security and all the features that you need for your VPN rather than having to, again, use free VPNs with half the features and uh, you're not necessarily going to be getting the full package of security, so to say. And again, most people that I know get VPNs so that they can get access to streaming services and so that they can, of course, protect themselves on public Wi-Fi and protect themselves while torrenting. In this case, I would recommend Express, Nord and Surfshark. So let's talk a little bit about these VPNs to help you make a more informed decision in case you're not really willing to put up with the restrictions of a free VPN. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you. And I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN. And this is going to be the best one if you're looking for the best overall, fastest and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no locks policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test, proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3000 servers in 105 countries, which is a big number of countries allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe plus you can secure up to eight simultaneous connections per account and it's compatible with most devices and so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability, ExpressVPN is my go to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN and NordVPN is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 5,800 servers in 60 countries. And while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency 
latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming. Or if you want extra features such as threat protection, which blocks ads, malware ridden websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription, as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then NordVPN would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is my best pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And to help you figure out which plan you should go for, generally you want to go for the long-term plans with VPNs, and I'll explain why. So for example, ExpressVPN gives you three plans to choose from. There's a month at a time plan for $12.95 per month, a six-month plan for $10 per month, or a 12-month plan for $8.32 per month. However, if you use the link in the description down below, you can get three months free, and so the 12-month plan drops down to $6.67 per month. Now, out of curiosity, I spoke with Express, and they mentioned that a lot of people end up spending more on monthly renewals than they would have with the yearly plan, because the typical pattern is that people renew monthly, thinking they may not really need this long term. So unfortunately, they end up spending more money than they would have if they had gone with the year plan, especially with the discount code I linked below. So ultimately, if you know you're not going to need Express for longer than a month, definitely get the month plan. But if there's a chance you might end up using it longer than a month, you may want to go with the year plan. And then if you change your mind or realize you won't need it that long, you have 30 days to get a refund and go back to just a month at a time. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity. And it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now, NordVPN is is a well-rounded high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends friends and family as you would like, which is a great plus. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, I'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. And of course, they're all covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee in case you're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.